Hi guys, this is H Summer, and today I'm gonna show you how I made my Moth Fairy or Moat Fairy from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. I spent quite a bit on my sewing patterns to make sure the fitting is perfect. That way I can reuse the pattern every time I need something similar. I usually like making them with fabric, but paper is a lot cheaper. I trace the basic shapes on the mannequin, and then I perfect them with my ruler and French curve. Now I have the basic pattern. It's time to one more fitting to correct any mistakes. Did you see this little gap right here? For this fantasy dress, I decided to try some hand embroidery techniques that I learned and I was trying to decide where to put the finished piece. Did you like it? Here you can have an idea of how it's going to look like. This black and silver lace is actually a dress that I got for free at a thrift shop. And here is the finished pattern with the location of all the embroideries. Now it's time to cut the fabric. Make sure to leave some room around for seam alliance. I also like making just one side of the body in my patterns. So to get the left side, I just need to mirror it. Sew everything together and try it on to test the fitting. Since I'm making for myself, I'm using a mannequin, but you don't need it if you don't have one. Alright, all set. I'm liking what I see. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Time to close the front and move to the skirt. For the bottom, I made a half circle skirt. And here I'm hand sewing to make it easier to distribute the gathering of the waist. I did the same thing for the lace layer. Moving on to the top, I covered the breast transparency with tulle fabric and I secured everything in place hand stitching. Talking about hand stitching, I decided to do some embroidery myself. The embroidery thread I'm using is a cotton perle. Embroidery is something that I love doing, but you totally don't have to do it. You can buy gipier lace and just hand cut it and place whatever you want. I also made some flowers myself. Basically, you need to cut the flower shape two times, burn the edges with a candle, and put a little bit of the tool inside. For the headpiece, I made a very basic flower tiara. This is very simple and cheap, but very, very pretty. I placed the flowers where I wanted on the dress and hand sewn each one individually in place. I also added more embroidery and some crystals here and there. And now for the fairy wings. Since it's a moth, I decided to go for very neutral colors. For the full tutorial, please click here. I also have another tutorial of fairy wings that looks like dragonflies. You can find all these videos on my playlist. And this is it. If you haven't, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you think I inspired you in creating anything, please let me see the results. Hashtag me, hsummerblog, so I can see it. Bye bye. Oh, and by the way, at 2018's Golden Globe, Isa Wright wore a very similar dress. Like, very similar. Tell me in the comments what you think. And subscribe to my channel.